What's up my peeps, I'm back with another supercar video, although it's only been I think 4 or 5 days since the last video I posted up, kind of feels like it's been a while, so I felt like I had to post up a video, had to post up an update, although anyways I'll be posting up some videos this weekend, but so anyways, as you can see we got the pop up for the new ring domination, which uh, I guess isn't really new because it's for the same card as last time, except this time it's for... A second one so for those of you who got the first one this is your chance to get a second one and if you didn't get the first one this is your chance if you want to to get at least one of them although you will you'll never be able to pro it you can still have a Sami Zayn card that's gonna be stronger than the usual Wrestlemania card than the normal ones that you don't get in Rota Glory or PCC so all right and I just noticed that it kicks off on Thursday I believe the last ring domination mode started on Friday so it's kind of good that I made this video now before it actually started so also once I well actually I'll talk to you guys about what I want to say a little, a little bit later as you can see miss a couple days miss two days so right now I can't miss any other days if I want to get the rock card the survivor rock daily bonus uh, anyways so King of the Rings finished this is the subscribers King of the Ring that I had when was this this was might have been last week actually. I don't even remember when I started this. <laughs> but basically, this ended up being the biggest subscribers King of the Ring ever. 14 of us made it in. So, uh, oh yeah. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys my very first WrestleMania Fusion card. You'll see what I got first. If it was a Diva Superstar or if it was the Freddy Blassie support card. So let's go ahead right away with the King of the Ring here. And as you can see, made it... Oh, hold up. Wait, what? Oh, okay, quarterfinals. For some reason, I, I mistook the quarterfinals for um for the finals. I was like, what? I didn't make it to the finals. So anyways, yeah, I uh, made it to the quarterfinals and ended up losing, which was a surprise to me. I really thought that I was going to make it to the finals, but then I got taken out by Blazy King in the contenders bracket in... The quarterfinals now i don't know what happened afterwards so you can see right now i'm i'm seeing this the same time you guys are seeing this and at the end looks like leo tricolo ended up winning this uh with him winning round one and let's check let's check out the finals you know I'll, I'll focus on the finals rather than the other matches so looks like leo all right so first off looks like the whole glitch that i had before where i couldn't see if people were using boosts or not is out of the way now and uh, Leo used boost, Blazy King, I, I'm thinking, didn't have any boosts remaining, maybe. Because from what I recall, um, he didn't have that many boosts when we faced off in the quarterfinals. And uh, we agreed to not use boosts in our third round. But anyways, so first match, Leo takes it. Second match, he takes it. Third match, it, it's a clean sweep, basically. Uh, definitely, you know, strong strong part of that has to do with the boost but despite the boost oh wait a minute despite the boost looks like blazy king did not use energy cards at least on his roman reigns card uh but despite that even his even if his roman reigns card was you know at the max amount of stamina he would have lost match one because it is power and toughness and kevin steen beats reigns in that and uh then the tag team match and then third match power and charisma okay third match um, Blaz King would have actually taken that if he would have used if he would have used boosts, because Bret Hart has more charisma and strangely has more power than Kanan. A lot of these card stats just don't make any sense. It's the way it is. Whatever. Game two. Let's see game two. All right. For some reason, sometimes when I click on it, all right, works now. All right, and then Blaz King looks like he used boosts in the second round, but he didn't have charisma boosts. I'm assuming because he didn't use any. So he takes match one, and he takes match two. Match three, um, well, match three, Leo takes that. So despite not having any charisma boosts, he ended up taking game two. He was lucky there because none of the matches involved charisma, so he got really lucky there. Um, let's look at match three. Hold on, okay. And right here, it looks like he ran out of speed boosts. And that's what I notice is... I'll oftentimes get a lot of power boosts and toughness boosts, but when it comes to speed and charisma, I'm always lacking in those. Oftentimes, when I'm running it low on boosts, it's always speed or charisma or both. 
It's, it's never power and toughness. I always get these easy. I don't know why. It's, it's just the way it is, I guess. Let me know if you guys, I guess, if it's different for you guys and you guys happen to get a lot of speed and charisma boost. But I'm thinking, in general, you get more power and toughness ones. So, last match ended up being a clean sweep. Uh, I mean, he just had two boosts remaining, from what I'm assuming. And Leo Tr Tricolo had all boosts, and he ended up winning the match. So, congrats to you, Leo. And this, the, the time I'm recording this at, it's a couple days after this was over. I'd say m almost a week after this is over, maybe. I really don't recall when I did this. <laughs> uh, man, I, I really want to recall when I did it. It might have been Wednesday, actually. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday, so I think it's a week. Actually, I don't know if it's Wednesday or now. Whatever. Right now, it's Wednesday. So, anyways, uh, Leo wins, and I'm pretty sure Leo was one of us, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I could check the chat. Pretty sure he is. Uh, right now, the, the the theme for this one was Hogan, so I told everybody, put a Hogan card as your picture. And it seems like Liam still has Hogan as his picture, but uh, the majority switched out the pictures, which is definitely understandable because, once again, uh, this is my fault. I'm recording this. Uh, days later the day the, the reason why I wait a couple days is because if I don't make it to the finals if you wait a couple days you can check out what happened well not just a couple days you can just wait one day and that's it uh, if you wait a while a while you can check out what happened in the finals while if you just wait until you know your prize is ready or your reward is ready you're not gonna be able to see what happened in the finals um, so anyways Let's uh, let's go ahead and check out the guys that participated in these this subscribers king of the ranks. So first off, we've got the Blazy King. Uh, we've got pretty sure Kevin was in there too. We've got Liam. We've got Leo Chicolo. We've got Kinu. Trying to figure out if Eric was one of us. Uh, maybe I'll have to double check. Uh, what I will do is in the comment section. I'll make sure to highlight the guys that are a part of us, that are subscribers and viewers. Of course, we've got myself, we've got KM95, we've got Benjamin, we've got The Beast, uh, Blood Nexus, he too uh, was one of us. Uh, we've got Billy, we've got Des Barris, who's been doing his thing on YouTube too as well. Uh, you gotta check out his channel, it's the same as his username. Um, you did, you know... Challenge me to this King of the Ring, kind of. You know, you didn't want to have a Survivor King of the Ring with me, but you didn't make it in the Contenders bracket. I think what it was is a lot of people in this one. You see, the thing is with the Subscribers King of the Ring, the more people are in there, the more competitive it is. I think just a lot more people want to be in, you know, the the Contenders bracket and uh, want to be featured in the video in, I guess, you know, positive light. Well, or not in a positive light, because I, I don't, you know, <laughs> show anybody in a negative light, but they want to, you know, be in the Contenders bracket, because that's, you know, the top eight. Uh, so a lot of people are using energy cards, and they're using them often. This was a, a hard king in the ring to, to compete in. It was hard to remain in the top eight. For the majority of it, I was, like, number eight. I was the last position, the last spot that you can be in to qualify. So it was, it was tough to just qualify in this, even if you had one of the better decks in this King of the Ring, because I truly believe I had one of the better decks in this King of the Ring, and if I wasn't matched with uh, Blazy King, I do believe I would have made it all the way to the finals, uh, but what happened is, in that final match, I think it was game 45, the, the last match to qualify, I faced off against Kinu, and Kinu, uh, he went ahead for the last match, and in this last match, before the last match, I should say, I think I was spot number 8 at that time, or, uh, yeah, I think I was spot number 8, and, um, Kinu might have been spot number 6, I think, and he went ahead and switched out his cards to all common cards, so, of course, I beat him, and I wasn't expecting expecting to beat him in that number number 45 match i i expected to lose uh because i lost in the other matches against him because he had his cards i believe energized while i didn't so i expected it to be the same in this number 45 match but he switched out his cards to all common cards so i ended up winning against him which moved me up from spot number eight to seven or something like that and that made me face off against Blazy King instead of, I think, Kevin. Because at that time, I believe Kevin was at the number one spot. Anyway, anyways, enough to talk about that. Shoutouts to all of you who participated in this King of the Ring. There was 14 of you once again. Oh, yeah. 
Bloodhound 72. I mean 70. Uh, <laughs> so we have Bloodhound. So one, we've got Thesbaris, we've got Billy, we've got Blood Nexus, we've got The Beast, Benjamin, KM95, myself, maybe Eric. Uh, this is why I should have recorded this. This is my bad. This is my mistake. Should have recorded this a couple days earlier. So, you know, you guys would have still had your Hulk Hogan uh, pictures. Uh, if Eric is indeed in this one, I will... You know, mention it in the comment section. Uh, we've got Kinu, we've got Leo Tricolo, we've got Liam, Kevin, the Blasi King. Basically, if the guys I counted besides Eric total 13 of us, then Eric is part of us. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just check the reward here. And actually, you know what? Uh, I didn't sh show you guys what happened in the quarterfinals between me and uh, Blasi King. Uh, so, first round, I took this one. Um, but. In the first round, as you can see, his tag team was a, was two common cards, and his tag team initially was better than that. I think he said that there was just a glitch or something, uh, so, or what might have happened is he accidentally, he, he thought he had switched out his tag team, or put, put the proper tag team in there, but instead switched it out with a co two common cards accidentally or something. Uh, so I took match one. And then match two, once he got his tag team back, oh, actually, match two, there was no tag team match, but match two, he ended up taking that with match two and match three. Um, and then the final match, um, as you can see, much better tag team here. This is this was supposed to be his tag team, and he ended up taking this one too. So that's pretty much it. Let's see my King of the Ring reward here. It's supposed to be a legendary card, and it is... John Cena. I don't know if I do have, I think I might have a John Cena card, a legendary John Cena, but really I have no use for pro uh, legendary cards. So it's just going to get used in the chamber uh, as with any other um, legendary card I would have gotten. And yeah, let's go ahead and click on the ring domination mode for a second here. And let's go to the deck setup here. All right, so. I'm still in the WrestleMania tier, despite me putting that Kevin Owens card in there, having the pro Kevin Owens right now that's, you know, maxed out. I haven't maxed out my Roman Reigns and haven't pro that yet, so that might, might put me in the WrestleMania Plus tier. Or actually just switching out Jericho here might just put me in the WrestleMania Plus tier. Let's see, just for fun. Uh, oh, what happened there? Okay. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I don't know what happened there. It just switched out Jericho with the Roman Reigns card. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put John Cena in there. Let's see. No, I'm still at the WrestleMania tier, but very close to WrestleMania uh, Plus. So, yeah. But anyways, whatever. So, ring domination in a couple of hours, four hours, 22 minutes. I'll be playing in this one just because I like the mode, but I'm not going to be aiming for the Sami Zayn card just because... Like, I can't, I can't get the pro version, you know? I didn't get the Sami Zayn card the first time around. So, although I can get it this time around, I, I, I don't really see a point in it. And I won't have that much time to participate in this ring domination, so I'm not expecting to get the top prize. I will try and get, you know, at least the survivor card, though. And uh, what they've done this time is they've listened to the people, and instead of having... You're getting more picks after winning a match, so instead of getting two picks after winning a match, you get to pick three shards. So it's better. Uh, I was hoping for four instead of two, but, you know, it's still an improvement. Better than not changing it at all. Uh, the weird thing is, before the ring domination mode, this happened the last time. If you look on, on the bottom left corner, it says I've got three times two piece picks. I didn't buy those. And the last time, I think it said is it said I had five of them, and I didn't buy those either before the ring domination. And then once the ring domination started, those disappeared, and all of a sudden I had I had zero of them. So what's up with that? Are you guys experiencing the same thing? Where before the ring domination mode, it'll tell you've got you know these two piece picks, but then once it actually starts, you don't have these two peaks two piece picks. Whatever. So that's pretty much it for the video. Kind of a short video, I know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, as always, you can click that like button. And uh, actually, the video isn't over because 
I have still yet to show you guys my WrestleMania Fusion, so check this out. So I just got a notification that the Fusion Chamber is complete and my WrestleMania Fusion, my first WrestleMania Fusion, is ready to go. So let's see what it is. I'm hoping for either a Divas card or the Freddy Blassie WrestleMania support card, but I'll be fine with anything, but I'd rather have a Divas card or that Freddy Blassie support card. So let's see what my first WrestleMania card is going to be. And it is... Oh no, okay. It's not a Divas card. And it's not the Freddy Blassie support card. But it is the game. Triple H. I'm fine with that. You know, whichever card I got as a WrestleMania Fusion. Just glad I got my first one. Now, time to restart the whole process. Because I want a Divas card. 